Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome back to the Unbound Realm. Hope you guys are good, doing good today. I am doing wonderful, but I feel I owe you guys a little bit of an explanation of what has been going on. So it's been about three weeks since I have put out any videos, and part of that is my own fault, and part of it is some other things going on, but... Uh, I was really wanting, and I am just about out of rockets. Let me grab a few here. So, um, black box. I gotta remember where everything is at. It has been so long, and I mean, I probably have been on Minecraft for maybe half an hour in the last three weeks. I have not been playing the game at all. But I was trying after the last episode to figure out what I was going to be doing over here. Whoops, I kind of missed that landing. Yeah, I'm a little bit rusty at the moment, but I was trying to figure out what I was going to be doing over here for this wizard's tower that we're going to be building in the Dark Oak Forest, and I just can't seem to figure it out. I have tried numerous times in my creative world to come up with some idea and I just can't seem to do it so yeah if you guys have any ideas please shoot me a link or you know something I'm, I'm sure that there are some things that could give me some inspiration for this but I'm just struggling and so because of that I was feeling really down about uh, playing because you know my inspiration was going rapidly with that not working out and so I took a little bit of a break and then shortly after that one of my friends introduced me to a game that I have never played before called Stellaris. Now I think this game has been around for quite some time but I had never played it and I got extremely addicted to it. I have played it very heavily in the last couple of weeks and so yeah that's what's been going on I thought about trying to record Stellaris but I know I've had multiple attempts at other games in the past and they just never seem to work out and so I decided it would probably be better if I just didn't record anything for a little while while I tried to get myself back into Minecraft but Yes, we definitely got a lot done. Uh, I believe the last episode did not include some of the stuff. Well, maybe it did. But we had in the live streams that I did uh, three weeks ago, I guess now, we added this house right here, which is the Lumberjack's house. Uh, and then behind this, we at ouch, ouch, we added the tunnel running down to the double spider spawner and the shrine of soup now that is this is not completely finished there is a little bit way down on the end that is not done and also i have not done the texturing on the entire thing i've gotten a great majority of it done but one of the th reasons that i had to stop was that i ran out of vines so I had to set up a makeshift vine farm, and I'm pretty sure that I have torn it down, but what I did is I just came out here onto this area here, and I built a large structure, a wall, that angled out and away from the wall, put vines on all of it and let them grow, and then I came back through and just sheared them all off. And I managed to gather up a, a fairly decent amount of vines. So now we should be able to finish that, but I think we need to move on to something else in order to be able to get the motivation flowing and the inspiration flowing and all of that. So this village is in essence done. We have a tiny bit of stuff yet to do, but the great majority of it is now finished. So, yeah, I think it's time we move on to another location. Now, I was trying to decide whether I wanted to move on to the 
uh, Church of the Bone God over at the Pillager Outpost, or if I wanted to start into the area up on the mountains. And as much as I'm looking forward to doing the uh, Pillager Outpost stuff, I think we're going to go ahead and go up into the mountains and start working on that because this society is very much not completed. You know, we have this farming area, but we have meats and things in the tavern. And, you know, it would make a lot more sense to add in our second village here that is helping to supply our meat products for the tavern than it would to go over and start working on the pillager area. So yeah, I think what I'm going to be doing, I am going to head off over here into the mountains and it's time to start building our second village. And there are creepers all over this place. So yeah, I need to be really careful. Now, another thing that I have done over here is to fill in a huge amount of caves that were poking through the surface of this area. And they were always kind of a, a thing that I didn't really care for. It just looked horrible. Okay, I hear you, Mr. Zombie. There you are. And I guess I still have not turned off mob griefing yet. And so Enderman... Oh, wow. He gave me three pieces of armor. Endermen have been continuing to wreak havoc on the terrain. As we can see here, there's blocks missing from this hill. And so, yes, I think I am going to quickly get mob griefing turned off. But then we're going to get started on this village up here in the mountains. So, yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff that I need to gather up. And honestly... I haven't yet decided on the block palette for this, so I might pop into my creative world and come up with a block palette to make things work here. I know we're going to be using a lot of spruce, and we might be using a bit more cobblestone, but obviously my tree farm is kind of large at the moment, so I'm going to have to cut, out, cut all of that down. As you can see, we don't have a huge amount of logs, which is actually good. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to get that all taken care of. And, uh, yeah, like I said, get, get a design figured out, and I'll see you guys after a little bit. So one thing, as I was looking around this area to try to decide what I wanted to do for the village up here, is I found this spot that is a little bit lower, but it's you know nicely surrounded on a few sides and I thought this would be a great place to have the village but this big area here that overhangs the overhangs the area it, it doesn't really fit in so I need to dig all of this out now one thing that I have not done any of yet is wither skull hunting and so I think I'm going to go do that so that I can fight the Wither Boss and get a beacon because that will greatly increase my ability to mine this down and shape it the way that I want. So yeah, I guess rather than figuring out the designs for this, it is time to go and do a little Wither Skeleton hunting as much as that's not really going to be too much fun because, yeah, I have no, no areas in the nether that are cleaned up. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of just back and forth trying to get wither skeletons to spawn in the fortress. But, yeah, that's kind of the way that it is sometimes. But I'm going to head into the nether and do a little bit of hunting for wither skeletons. I haven't gotten a single skull yet, so this could take a while. Well, just got my first skeleton. So, yeah, we've got one. Now, of course, like I have said, I'm carrying around rotten flesh for food. 
not a very good food source, but yeah, that uh, makes life a little more interesting. So I need to continue to wander around here and try to get a couple more. But yeah, that skeleton did manage to hit me. And uh, yeah, wither is a horrible effect. So yeah, I need to be really careful. But this seems to be a pretty good area here to try to bring in wither skeletons because it is a large area of intersections. But unfortunately, with all of the mobs that are currently spawned in the world, it tends to be difficult to get them to spawn in. But yeah, I'm going to continue working on this. Hopefully I will get a couple more skulls. There we go, there is the third skull. Now, oh god, gee many crickets. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> so yeah, I decided to go a little bit further out. And so this is where we were doing our blaze farming and my god, that is loud, so I'm gonna get away from there. But, yeah, so I decided to go a little bit further out, away from where I come into the world, and do a little bit of uh, wither skeleton farming over here. And actually, I have not killed very many wither skeletons to get to this point. But now i got to remember the way out of here, and I don't remember how I came in. I know I came in through the wall. Okay, here it is. I came in through the wall. I knew that. So, yeah, I think I need to head back now, and we are going to go ahead and do a traditional wither fight on this first guy without the benefit of having food. So this could be interesting. I will take some buckets of milk as a precaution against the wither effect, because yes, we are in hard mode. So we will definitely take wither damage. But yeah, let's go ahead and head back to the overworld. I'm gonna dip down into my mines and uh, we'll go and see if we can find a spot that we can fight this guy. All right, I think we are ready for this. So I've come out a little ways away from the main mine shaft. So if this goes bad, it could go horribly wrong for the world. I sure hope it doesn't. But we've got a couple of bottles of ale so that we can get a little bit more strength. We've got four buckets of milk, a, a decent number of arrows, and then of course our decent sword. And then a stack of rotten flesh. So that is going to make this a bit more difficult. But let's go ahead and get this up here. And... Oh, I'm kind of jittery, and actually I don't have anywhere to kind of hide off to the side. So let's give myself a little bit of a way that I can get into a different tunnel here. Now, the amount of cave lighting and cave filling that I have done in the area should actually help us out here, because there shouldn't really be any other targets for the wither, so it should just kind of sit here. But, uh, here we go! Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Come on. There we go. Okay, well, he is... Okay, just a second. This is way too loud in my ears. Um, let's go ahead and turn the sounds down. Oh my god, that is loud. So let's go ahead and turn that down just a bit. And... Oddly enough, he just kind of said, Oh, mob griefing is turned off. He can't do anything. Okay, well, that kind of makes this a bogus deal. Well, here I was thinking this was going to be difficult, but, uh, yeah, that was kind of a... I forgot that I had turned off mob griefing. Well, anyway, that was... Yeah, I forgot I turned off mob griefing, so the, no or the wither couldn't go anywhere. Mm. 
Well, whatever. Here I was getting all worried about nothing. Now, anyway, that that kind of that's kind of disappointing. But I wasn't about to stop in the middle of the fight and redo that. Well, anyway, so we got our Nether Star. Gosh, that, I was all prepared for some really horribly long drawn out fight where I was gonna run the risk of dying and yeah that was you know, hmm. I, I feel like an idiot <laughs> so yes let's go ahead and head up we will go ahead and make our beacon now of course we have uh, plenty of iron to make a full beacon base with naturally mined iron. We have never spawned any iron in with a golem farm and it looks like it is about nighttime. I kind of feel like we should actually frame this nether star, but yeah, I don't really want to go back and have to fight another series of wither skeletons to get this. So I will get another nether star off camera that we will frame up to commemorate this and we're gonna have to make sure that we put something in there about the derpiness of mob griefing turned off but yes let's go ahead and make a beacon I'm gonna head out to the mountain start doing the digging out there I may see about doing a time-lapse on that I don't know uh, it depends on how much I feel like actually getting something here but yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit. And why am I going in here? I don't know. Well, in order to make the beacon base, I am going to have to smell nine stacks of iron ore. Oh my god, I forgot that I was going to have to do that. So yes, I guess I could sit here for a little bit at the blast furnace and get this stuff smelted up. Hmm. I guess I could drop three of them over here in the bakery just to kind of speed the process along. But yeah, this is going to take a little while. See you guys after a little bit. All I can say is that was well worth it. So I got like two thirds of a stack or two thirds of a double chest of smooth stone from that, as well as a whole bunch of dirt. But I have this entire area pretty much carved back so that I can work on it now. And my gosh, that would have taken me forever to do if I didn't have this beacon. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some of the grass and I'm going to start building out the contour that I want here and I want a fairly decent amount of this to be at roughly that height up there and I got to thinking about it as I was doing this I think we're gonna have the main path of the village come up about through the the middle here maybe slightly closer to this edge over here 
But so it's going to come up through here. So we want this area to be a little more gradual. We can have it a little steeper on either side. But then we're going to have a secondary path that is going to be down in the valley going up through there. So there's going to have to be a little bit of work done in this area because, yeah, this is this is absolutely horrible down here. There's just no real way to get around here. This doesn't really feel right. And there's, it, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff going on here that doesn't feel right. And then eventually that's going to open up into this area. And yeah, I still haven't quite decided what I want to do here, but th this area has got to have something done with it. And there is actually a cave here. And yeah, there's a skeleton here. Yeah, you can die. But so yeah, there's there's definitely some options to do some stuff and this goes down whoa, creeper. Hi there, Mr. Creeper. Whoa. Well, thank God for uh mob griefing being turned off. But uh yeah, we definitely need to do something with this. I mean that is just a given. But yeah, I am going to go ahead and get this area kind of set up the way that I want it to look. And then uh, I'll fill in underneath it with the stone. I want to have at least two blocks of dirt on top of the stone. That way, if there are areas that the terrain gets kind of pulled back a little and the stone gets exposed, it will feel correct. So yeah, I've got a lot of block placing to do now. And then hopefully we will have ourselves a blank template on where we're going to build all of this. So I am here in my creative world and I'm trying to come up with some ideas for what the houses should look like in this new village. And I'm kind of struggling a little. So this is the first idea, as you can see, it is very heavy with wood. And I kind of have a feeling that is going to be a basic theme of this village. But now what we can see here, there's a couple of things and something that I need you guys to be thinking about. So first off, we have tons and tons of spruce, lots and lots of that. We have stripped spruce in the back. We have regular spruce logs on the front. We have birch uh, fences in the corners in a lot of places. But then we have even more logs up above that. And I kind of like this look, but at the same time, I mean, there is a lot that could be done differently here. But yeah, I mean, it, it looks fairly decent. You know, we have a similar, well, it's actually the exact same basic shape of the roof that we used in our previous village, but we're using stone bricks instead of the cobblestone that was used in the first village. And then I have spruce for the roof. And I don't know if we want to use spruce for the roof or not. Now this, we can see it kind of has a shape that we've got like a wing over here and a wing over here, and then a main central portion to the building. Now obviously this is all hollow in the back. I've just kind of been trying to get a facade and we can look at interiors and things like that later. But yes, this is a definite possibility. I do like the idea of having small windows up top and big windows down below. So we've got four, four blocks height down below, only uh, a little bit of space up above, which is kind of limited by the roof. But something like this building could very easily be a tavern. And I think that's actually the first building that I want to build in this new village because of the fact that, you know, we are running with no food. So we'll have to put one of our food dispensing systems into this village. But, you know, that that's one option. Now over here, I have another option. So now this one here, I have done a little bit more work on, but we can see it is quite a bit different. And I'm, I'm struggling big time with these chimneys. But uh, yes, this here would use the red nether brick for the roof and uh, still very wood heavy. You can see we have the same basic setup with the strip spruce behind and the regular spruce in front. And uh, yep, let's do that. 
But this one here, we only have three blocks of height in the lower floor. And I don't know that I like that too much. Now, also, in this, we have... Okay, well, that doesn't work. Uh, in this, we have half slabs above the lower floor. And these half slabs actually allow us to see things like these supporting beams. It kind of opens up the area a little. But I think we could accomplish much the same type of... Uh, situation just by raising the roof by one block but yeah that that's definitely something that we could look at but the other thing is is these windows in the second floor you know we have a too high window here that is flush with the floor on the inside I, I don't know that I like that you know pretty much every window that I've built in every other building always has the floor height to where you know there's a block in front of the glass so I don't know now it might be such a thing that we could use this type of a style with the red nether brick roof I want to use the red nether brick somewhere and I think this village might be the place to do it but I mean I really like the look of the front of this building but the red nether brick and maybe we could try that so yeah, let me let me do a little bit more work here. I will replicate this building with a red roof and see what it looks like. I'll see you guys in a little bit. So aside from a very annoying wandering trader and a semi driving by outside, uh, I have the exterior of this done now I changed a couple of things and I don't know how I like it so obviously I put the red nether brick roof on this and it it looks pretty good the red nether brick I really like the way that this looks but there's a couple of things that little minor changes here and there made it to where things just didn't quite work out right so one of the things that I did was to drop down the height of the edge of the roof by one block. And that made it to where then our shutters around these windows couldn't go in. We had to put a solid block above the windows. And yeah, I, I don't really care for that too much. So we may try to push the roof back up to the height of this one. Because I think this looks a little nicer having more you know shutters and things in front of here and being able to have stairs both top and bottom on the windows but then also I did not put in this little area because I didn't know for sure if I could make it work and yeah this section of the roof looks absolutely horrible so I'm gonna have to try to figure out something with that because this section of the roof or this section of the building where it kind of sticks up above these roof lines it, it really makes a big difference so yeah we need to add that in here as well now around the sides I'm not really too keen on the way this looks I mean we have windows right up to the edge there's too many windows but if I just put the two in the middle then this doesn't look very good and if I put two on the outside edge then the center looks weird but if we move the roof up by one block that could change things there as well the other thing that moving the roof up by one block will do is this area up here, this attic space, is completely useless at the moment. It is too small to be any type of a room or anything like that. Well, if the roof moves up by one more block, we might be able to actually get a third floor into this thing. So yeah, we'll just have to see how that works. And yeah, obviously uh, I've missed a few details as I go around this thing. but. Uh, yeah, I think we've kind of got the style set up for this village. We're going to be going with the red nether brick roofs, lots of spruce, and we'll just kind of have to work on variations of that basic theme. And hopefully we can make things work out. So yeah, let me head back over to the Unbound Realm, and we will take a look at what we can do there. Well, I am back on the Unbound Realm, and as you can see, I got all of the trees cut out of here. 
And I also got all of the the hill rebuilt. And I think this looks pretty good. Of course, this is where the path is going to be coming through here. And then we've got a decent sized space right here that we can work with. And then of course we've got like this area right here. And we may have to do a bit more terraform work on this because like this, this little spot, I mean, we could build something on it, but it's gonna have to be kind of knocked down a little bit if we do. And then of course we can put a few buildings higher up on this hill but we're not going to want to go terribly high with that either and yeah so there's there's definitely some potential here and that's what i wanted to see but i did not realize that uh, there was that much recorded already so that's going to be it for this one so i'm going to say thanks for watching if you enjoyed the episode be sure to give a thumbs up if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe if you have any thoughts about what I've been working on or anything that you would like to see, be sure to leave that down in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!